All right, I'm back, and uh, we're in Logic now, and uh, I've uh, constructed uh, the vocals here. So I've got the, uh, the, lead, the lead vocal here in pink, the backing vocal here in blue, and then I also have the, um, uh, the backing track to the song here in green. Now, um, what I want to do is I don't want to just you know put these in here as, as is, and what I've done already in advance is uh, I've added some effects um, uh, I have already uh, bust out uh, to a reverb, so I have some reverb going on. Um, I uh, have uh, uh, adjusted the pan on my lead vocal to go to a little to the left, and then uh, to go to the right on the uh, backing vocals to give them a little bit of space. I've also pulled the volume down on the backing vocals as well. Uh, I've also added this uh, vocal transformer plugin, and you don't have to do this, but I like to do it. And what I've done is just pulled the formant up uh, two, plus two. You can pull this up one or two. And what this will do is it'll kind of more, uh, more or less emulate the sound of like, a, like an actual female backing vocalist, even though I have a male vocalist here. Uh, you don't want to go too crazy with this because it'll start to sound chipmunky uh, real quick. So I just pull it up like one or two. Let's close that out. You don't have to do this, but uh, it's a cool little thing you can do. So let's uh, listen to just the uh, vocals. And uh, let me mute out my backing track, so this is just vocals with reverb. Take my disgrace away, take every living day, take all you fast for, take my life. All right, that was nice. It adds a little more lushness to the overall uh, vocal sound. So let's uh, let's go ahead and listen to the vocals uh, with the backing track. All right, that worked out quite nicely. Uh, if anything, I might bring the backing vocals down a little bit in the mix. Uh, my number one rule for doing backing vocals this way is that if your listener says, hey, those are great backing vocals, you may actually want to pull them down in the mix more so they're less noticeable. The overall goal here is not to you know, make this sound like multiple singers. It's to just add um, uh, some more depth to your current vocals. I still want this to sound like one singer, even though there's two parts there. Now, if, if you don't understand music theory, um, you're going to have a, a hard time actually doing this. You kind of kind of have to understand music theory and scale structure for this to work for you. Um, and, and your ear really is your, your biggest tool here. I mean, if the backing vocal doesn't sound like it's going to work, it pr probably is not going to work. The other thing you can do is you can plan out your uh, backing vocals in advance, sit down at a keyboard and just uh, plunk them out in the keys and uh, write it down on paper so that you know exactly what note you need when you're in Melodyne trying to pitch shift those notes up or down. All right, well, I do this sort of thing for a living as well, so if you uh, don't want to go through the rigor of doing this, uh, shoot me an email on YouTube and I'll be happy to set up a quote for you. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please visit my sponsors, and if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below. Thanks.